Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you take the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI. 
FBI ever take over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Something? I identified its model and serial numbers. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We 
stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. Destroy it, we won't learn anything. We can't save it, it's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. Connor, Connor, you all right? Connor! Are you hurt? I'm okay. Jesus. Oh, you scared the shit out of me. For fuck's sake, I told you not to move! Why do you never do what I say? I was connected to its memory. When it fired, I... I felt it die. Like I was dying. I was scared. I saw something. In its memory. A word. Painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. 